Boa noite. So good evening. Is everyone okay? So tonight. So, so today is which day of the Vision 2027 workshop? So it is a new day, and, and our lecturer will, will be Reverend David Dunkim. Let's begin with a bow to our true parents of heaven earth and humankind. So today, I, I would like to ask to Pastor Ronaldo of Brazil Region 3 to do the initial prayer. Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me well? Is everything okay, President? Is everything okay? Please join me in prayer. Beloved Heavenly Parents, this, this evening of December 14, 2020, we are gathered immersed in this workshop, prepared by you to all Brazilian members and also South America members when we have the honor of, of being able to join of, of such special workshop prepared by, by, our, by our leadership of President Koichi who, who made all this foundation with, with his wife in order for us to grow and, and perfect not only in, in, in individually but also as in our family and tribes in order to restore the nation. And also we had the honor of having an intention, an international member, leader of the magnitude of Reverend David Dongokim, who with, with so much effort and sacrifice has been preparing all this workshop and giving us the opportunity to, re to remember and remember and in order and, and grow and and send the fire in our hearts in, in, our, in order for us in 2021 make a great start towards 2027 yes all feel the emotions and the happiness that you heavenly parents are feeling right now of course your expectation is great regarding all this south america region heavenly parents this evening, we'll have the lecture about the Hondoke as the as a lifestyle of Chonilgok. May us understand from the bottom of our hearts, especially in in this moment, this kind of teachings that will be conveyed to each one of us. May us have an open and sincere heart, and maybe unite completely heaven and earth, the sp the physical and the spiritual world. That's what I pray. In 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 my name, Ronaldo Melo, a blessed center family, I do. Thank you very much. So, so just like yesterday, if you have any question, please write them down there, there in the chat, so so our staff can 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 select them and and we can will will answer them in the end of the lecture. So now let's receive Reverend Kim with the lecture of Hundoke as the lifestyle of Chonanguk. Let's receive him with a big hand. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Today is the fourth day of uh, Vision 2027. Throughout the three days, uh, uh, my presentation, uh, m members uh, understood the uh, history of the restoration period, 
and also what was the meaning of the foundation day and the since foundation day started how Shumada has been working. And today I would like to share with you the most important uh, element in the Chinese book life from true parents tradition which is the uh, Fundokke. So uh, I would like to uh, really think about the uh, everything about the hundokke and the most important point of hundokke and the God's word. True father had studied this uh, hundokke. This hundokke was not just uh, uh, suddenly studied and showed up to our members. As, you, as we all know, we had been kept almost uh, same style of gathering, which means learning uh, God's word and praying and also uh, make a devotion through the uh, prayer time. We used to have uh, every morning and every uh, e uh, evening and every day we had a gathering with prayer. So in that sense, it's a kind of uh, extension of this uh, uh, prayer meeting, but actually Father uh, clearly uh, established a certain meaning and uh, uh, tradition in the new era of Chinese Go. So that's why this uh, uh, Hundokke has a certain uh, 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 historical process with uh, true parents. 1997, August 10, uh, True Father proclaimed to use only Korean language in the official place. And then True Father explained that in the ideal world, only one language, which is the uh, uh, parents' language, uh, must be used. That's why officially Father proclaimed that uh, from now on in the official and the public place, uh, only Korean language is going to be the representative language of uh, God and uh, God's sovereignty. So based on this uh, proclamation, uh, that year, the end of August, true parents studied Kundok every day, 6 to 7 uh, a.m. Before that, that uh, morning devotion time, kind of prayer time, but actually, uh, from that moment, the father uh, really focusing on having only hundok, which was actually the reading father's words for one hour first time, and then later on, more than one hour, several hours. And then father uh, always, every day, started to have hundok uh, with uh, no matter what kind of gathering and meetings. And uh, also, uh, 1997, September 1st, Father proclaimed the new era. So that means Chen uh, Ilgu uh, already had been uh, begun to form uh, to, uh, uh, to the uh, uh, next world. So that's why Father proclaimed uh, the new era at that time. And the same thing on this proclamation, Father made this uh, Kundok, uh, dif uh, at that time, different style of uh, uh, morning devotion gathering as uh, Kundokke on October 13. In other words, the Father uh, named officially Hun as a Kundokke for the first time uh, at the uh, Victoria, Uruguay. So this is the uh, kind of origin and the begin, begin of Hundokke and the history. And the Father had been teaching to us so many times regarding Hundokke. Uh, Hundokke uh, is uh, still going on, and then Hundokke will go on forever, as long as humankind living on this earth. Because Father made this, the traditional hundokke is 
they are exactly number one tradition in the ideal world for humankind. And then true parents themselves was the number one Hundoke members throughout their life. So in that sense, Hundoke is the new tradition in the era of realm of false Adam. In that sense, every, every day uh, in our church worldwide and in the family, uh, blessed families, we are doing uh, Hundoke. So in that sense, uh, why Father had changed it from the uh, devotion gathering to Hundoke? This format is a really providential uh, direction uh, had changed with this Hundoke. Before that, so uh, when we look back to our uh, life of faith, so uh, once we have more knowledge and we know better and the deeper divine principle as, and God's word, was the uh, kind of qualifications of uh, uh, leaders and then uh, long-time members. So the more uh, leaders know about the uh, divine principle, depths of divine principle, and uh, Father's word, and then leaders were able to lead uh, members. That's why before the Hundoke time, was the time that knowledge of a principle was the best. But since Hundoke uh, providence started, it has been changed. The time that the principle life centering on the world goes prior. That means since Hundoke started, our blessed family's main Focus and the major uh, point from that Hundoke providence was uh, how to implement principle and God's word in our daily life, and then we grow. That's a completely uh, different kind of implementation of our life of faith. That this kind of things happen. Let's uh, first. Uh, uh, we need to uh, understand uh, more about the hundok. What does it mean, hundok, originally with the literature? The meaning of hun, hun, hun means actually teaching. And then this uh, hun is the uh, union of two words. One is word, and the other one is stream, which means uh, Hun means the word flowing, goes flowing everywhere. So that's why hun, uh, the meaning of hun, becomes teaching. And then what does it mean, dog? Dog is also the union of two letters. So one is word and the other one is a cell. So that's why the actual meaning of dog is selling the word. And uh, in that sense, in order to sell, uh, to, to selling the word is, uh, uh, is going out by reading. So that's why hun means teaching and dog means reading. In other words, hun dog is uh, teaching, uh, reading, and teaching the word. That's the meaning of hun dog. So that's why. Actually, when Father uh, used this terminology providentially, Hundo is not just to read God's word, but is making God's word to reach it everywhere by flowing, including the spirit world. This is the um, actual meaning of Hundo. In other words, when, whenever we have Hundo with the Father's word and the principle and the God's word, Always, this word goes spread out and move out up to the spiritual world. This is the actual 
meaning of Hun Dokke and the power of God's word. So this Hun Dokke basically and originally supposed to be held in the family level. Let's let's read your father's word. A Hundok family is created through Hundok. Your family is the best for going to the heavenly kingdom. You go to the heavenly kingdom from your family. We know that family is fundamental foundation in the ideal world. So that's why father's number one concern is to implement this Hundok care in each family so that the family hold Hundo care and then digest this word and implement word in uh, the family members' daily life and then grow by themselves and then reach it, the position of God's sons and daughters. This is actually what Father uh, really tried to uh, encourage the members and then had to build up the tradition of Hundoke in each family. So you cannot go heaven from anywhere else. Your family must be a place where the kingdom of heaven of peace is created. So that's why he, this Hundoke must be rooted in the family and then grow in the family and then create a fruit in the family. And it must happen on the earth. And also uh, with the other uh, father's work, by reading the word and learning together in the presence of heaven and earth, united as one. This means hundoke. Whenever we have uh, hundoke, hundoke is not just the reading the word in this physical world, but this God's word should spread out, should make action between physical world and the spiritual world. Then we establish the foundation for the ideal family as individuals who are being substantially recreated and perfected. In other words, Hundoke is the only way for blessed family members to be able to re uh, to be able to complete of recreation and become perfection. That means through the Hundoke, we by ourselves and in the family are able to recreate ourselves and then become completion, become perfect as a man and woman. This is a real power of Hundoke. I don't know how many of us really understood this point and then really take this one while we have uh, uh, Hundoke and then try to recreate and then build up the certain purpose of the perfection of my life in front of God through the Hundoke. But from now on, as long as we understand Hundoke, as a father has taught, we must aim the purpose of Hundoke is to completion of my own recreation and to become perfection. So then we can move into a new age of education. Father is taught, telling us that this Hundoke is a new age of education. Through this education, all family members and then all humanity can recreate ourselves in front of God and then become an individual perfected being. So to lay such a foundation in front of heaven. So, Hundoke has this kind of 
um, important and a sig significant uh, meaning. So, and then, and then how or what kind of uh, uh, things actually happen once uh, blessed family keeps keep this uh, hundoke as a tradition in the family. Father is talking that that is the tradition where three generations of a family start each day by reading heaven's word. This is the first step. That means the father is clarifying that hundoke must be done in the family with three generations. Grandparents and parents and children should have hundoke together. And this hundoke start by reading heaven's word. This is the first step. And then lead a life of practicing what they need with a new heart. Not only leading God's word in the hundoke time, but everybody, family members, must try to practice what we had read and what we have gained in our heart with a new heart, which means we are not just trying to what we had read. Father say this, this, this. No, no, no. Before we try to implement Father's word, we should become one with Father's words or God's words in our heart, which means we need to really understand and then hold the precious meaning and the precious point from the word in our heart before we make implementation, before we practice that word. This is very important point. And then let's create a world where people in the spiritual world and an early earthly world attend the true parents at the same time. The purpose of Hundoke, Sentinel One True Parents, is actually to attend the true parents at the same time, together with the uh, spiritual world. That's why Hundoke always aims how to mobilize the spiritual world and go together by reading God's word and holding that word in our heart. Once we are able to do that, and then spiritual world can be with us and then go to the automatically same time to practice those words. This is a kind of mechanism of what happened between spiritual and the physical world centering on Hundoke. Have you thought this, this point? This is a really new point that we must seriously consider and then try to find out the best way, best method of Hundoke to be able to complete God, True Father's original, original way or original desire through the Hondoke. And read the word about the heavenly path together. So once we are able to go this way, what happens? No matter how hard Satan may try to worm his way in and infest your lineage. Satan has been taking us through our lineage and through our behavior. Even though Satan holds hold and always invade me, infest me through the lineage. But when he 
encounter the Hundokke tradition, he will have no room to move. That means the power, the real power of Hundokke can expel the Satan. Satan cannot stay in our families. Satan cannot challenge to any single of our family members as long as we are able to build up the successful, ideal hundoke in our family. This is amazing. This is the greatest gift and the blessing from true parents to bless central families and then to all humanity. So, Father said, if the blessing of God does not come to the family, that is living the standard of high noon through the Hundokke, where no share shadow is cast already, who then could possibly receive? That means as long as we are able to build up the ideal Hundokke in our family, and that we are able to live by practicing God's word in our every day. And then there will be no more Satan. And furthermore, real God's blessing will come down. So, true parents have guided us the way that humanity can live together with God and get his and there is a blessing in the era of Chan Ilgo. That's why Hundoke is very important. And then everybody in our family, we must try to build up this kind of God and true parents centered Hundoke. If we are able to be successfully build up this tradition as our Family's tradition, and then profound God's blessing will follow us. So let's say, what is that? And then we can conclude the uh, significant meaning of Hundoke. So, number one, Hundoke is a, an eternal tradition in the channel, right? And then Hundoke is an establishment of, of ideal family. Not only building the ideal family, but this is the way to complete the family. Make a family to be perfected. Three, Hundoke is the, the way to become total oneness with God's heart in the family. Not only in the individual not only myself, but also my family members all together. This kind of oneness with God's heart will, will really fill up the, in my family. So what does it mean, oneness? As I already explained, oneness with God's heart is to become one mind, one body, and one thought, and one harmony with God. That's not just happen with me, but with all my family. That means God is always be with us. And wherever we go, God will protect. And God will go with our family members. So that's why the way our family members go, wherever we go, that's the only way to be able to get God's blessing. For the hundoke is the way to inheriting, to inherit the tradition of a life of faith and the true parents' culture. True parents came to this world and they created many, many things. But the most important point of true parents' True, true parents work on this earth, true parents' tradition, 
I can say just uh, one. That's uh, what Cho parents had been creating the lifestyle and culture. So, what, what kind of lifestyle and the culture is this? This lifestyle and the culture has been separate from Satan or get rid of Satan. That means the father had to build up the tradition of life of faith and then culture centering on God. No relating with Satan. So this was through the Hundoke, we can inherit this, this true parents' tradition of life of faith and culture. And five, and Hundoke, through the Hundoke, we can expel, overcome fallen natures and then restoring God's original nature. Even though we had been working the uh, decades and they followed the true parents, but still, every time we can feel that still we have endless fallen natures. Jealousy, raising, so many this kind of fallen natures still exist inside me. But through the hundoke, try to implement what I really become oneness with God's teaching to practice. If I can successfully implement those teaching through their way, my fallen nature, one by one, will be expelled. And finally, I can build, or I can really take back the original nature. So that's why Hundoke is the only way for humanity to go back to holding God's original nature. The last, the Hundoke is the way to realize the peaceful world for humanity. If all humanity study the daily life with the Hundoke everywhere, every single nation and then every single village and then every single family, everybody, all humanity study the day, day, new day with Hundoke. It would be the peaceful world. In other words, that's the kingdom of heaven on earth. So that's why Hundoke is the tool to create the kingdom of heaven on earth and keep life in the kingdom of heaven on earth, centering on God's words. So in the end, based on this kind of uh, meaning and the understanding of Hundoke, how can we build up the Hundoke life in our family, in my family? What is the best? And how can I build up the Hundoke successfully based on this kind of historic and the providential meaning of Hundoke? So how can we become an, an ideal family with Hundoke? I can say three points. As long as we are able to build up the, these three points in our family centering on Hundoke, we can reach it. What true parents have shown the way of Hundoke. First is the creation of a Hundoke tradition in the family. That means each blessed family should have their own Hundoke tradition. So in order to make a, a in order to create a Hundoke tradition in the family, what is important? Time, place, 
That's not so important. The important point to create the Hundoke tradition every day. We need to put the not the method or not the reading just, but the put the, the put the but the put the word on the absolute position. In other words, Hundoke is gathering of family members centering on the world. So that's why those participants in the Hundoke must have one same purpose of word. So that's why we have to put the word on the top of the position. Because, uh, you know, when we look back at our family members' uh, uh, care currently, some of members um, is uh, doing just uh, uh, care because, uh, you know, everybody is supposed to do that. And then, uh, what is care? Hundoke is just uh, reading the uh, word. If we have Hundoke one hour, just uh, reading the word one hour. That's the Hundoke. No, 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 no. No. Once we put the word on the top, this, it, it doesn't mean it's just a reading. But this gathering itself must be formed centering on word. So not only parents, but also children who participate in Hundoke really need to have a clear value and a clear goal to go to the world. This is not so easy. We may keep the hundoke with uh, you know our daily schedule. One of that's not that's that's just one of schedules. And uh, without uh, getting become one with the word, this is just a devotional meaning, something like that. So we need to fix that this uh, you know hundoke in the family in order to become this hundoke become uh, goes to the. Uh, 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 family tradition. So, in that sense, uh, hundoke with the word must keep consistently. This is not so easy, right? Every morning, hundoke, keeping hundoke is not easy. So, that's why Father said, I don't like hundoke. Doing every day. Do you like Hundoke? Are you sure? I had a question to myself. Do you like Hundoke? Mm, no, 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 no. I don't like Hundoke, but I know I have to have Hundoke. This is a duty, right? This is duty. This is a mission. As long as I follow your parents, and then I, as long as I am one of the family members, blessed family, I must have a hundoke. This is a sense of duty and the sense of mission. Even for true father, he said, I don't, I don't like uh, having hundoke every day. I don't want to have, but he said, there is no other way for us to live in the God's ideal world. This is the only way. So that's why, no matter what, we need to really create this Hundoke tradition in the family first. Okay? Each family may be different. But anyway, keep the Hundoke first. And then second, you have to make it clear the purpose of Hundoke is not just a reading, but applying, implementing what you read in the daily life. Exactly, we are living in the time of practicing, 
principle. So already I told, right? We are living in the uh, from from the uh, from the life of faith to the life of practice. So we are not just uh, supposed to believe, but we must be able to practice centering on word. So that's why each hundoke in your family must uh, develop and aim how to implement and then practice what you have learned in the hundoke to daily life. And furthermore, you have to build up a certain mechanism to check and evaluate your daily life based on practice of words. And finally, you have to create your family's own style of fundoke. In other words, you, have, you need to have your own family culture, a family fundoke culture, creating a unique style of managing fundoke. What is the, uh, uh, the fundoke format? Well, each, each church may be different, and each family may be different. But I, 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 I believe that most of hundoke is very simple and just one way, right? Have gyeongbae and the prayer, and then read word until the finish it. The uh, morning hundoke. And then just finish it. And then we bow and then finish it. Go back to our daily life. This is a kind of a uh, typical pattern of our hundoke. So let's, let's really think about our reality. Church, it may be possible, but how about the each family? Is it in your family? The parents and the children who are the 20s, or who are teenagers, or who are just, uh, just uh, you know, uh, kindergarten age. All these kind of different ages, uh, family members are gathered together in the morning, and they just uh, keep the reading the word, the full of hundoke time. Well, maybe, you know, your children can easily can easily lose their interest, their and their intention. This is not good. This, this is not good way for a certain families. In that family, family members really need to create their own style of hundoke so that hundoke uh, that their family members can more interested in word and keep the spiritual intention, right? So we need to have a very much, uh, how to say, uh, uh, um, uh, very, very much advanced kind of uh, uh, thinking we really need in order to uh, bring the hundoke concept to our uh, real, realistic family so that we are able to build up a successful, ideal family tradition in our family. So Pop, that's why this family culture uh, need to focus on how to incarnate God's word to my family members. I'm sure each, uh, each family can create a specific or unique style of a uh, way to implement, incarnate God's word to, to other uh, family members. So that's why uh, in, or, in order to build up the ideal hundoke in the blessed family, we have to create a hundoke tradition and we have to find out the way, method to apply of word to daily life. And third, we have to have a unique style of family tradition. 
And this family culture will bequeath to the next generation. And then maybe after five to uh, ten generations, each family or each tribe may have their own style of culture centering on Hundokya. It's going to be very, very much interesting. And finally, so let's think about how can we create an ideal method of Hundoki in my family. Let's come, everybody, and then let's think all together. How can I build up the ideal Hundoki in my family? I would like to share just a kind of interesting chip, interesting tip for the uh, uh, method. Number one, you have to organize the hundoke so that, so that no members can meet hundoke, which means, well, you, you may try to uh, have hundoke with all family members, but we, try, we, we had kept the hundoke over and over and over again. So every day, so every day, all members are not participating. Sometimes one ch child, sometimes some of the children may, may miss, right? It's a, it, it missed. In that case, what should we do? You may choose best time. In, this, in that case, you should not keep the traditional thinking that hundoke must be the early morning, 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Well, that's the, that's the standard. If we apply this standard and then everybody, all members follow this, this standard, that's okay. We can, we can keep that standard. But if this standard doesn't work, you have to make next standard, next level of standard, so that you can hold everybody as one century one hundoke. By keeping first standard, once you lost some members in your family for the hundoke, you're better to create second level of standard. So that's why if you cannot keep the every day, of course, your couple can keep the hundoke every morning. But for your whole family members, how about uh, just uh, having hundoke gathering once a week? Every Friday evening, right? That's a kind of a family you, you, uh, reunion. And then you, make a, you can make a that family weekly reunion as family or tribal hundoke time so that everybody can come and then just uh, go to the uh, garden to parents tradition so that's why you can you can manage the best day or time for all family members can attend and then create the best best format best format we have our current format but you need to create the best format format which you can attract all participants with the different ages and the different background and different ethnicity, right? So in, it, that's why we need to be very creative to even keep the, this kind of you know, There is a no absolute, just a one standard. You need to create your own family standard. And then this family standard will be the, your family and then tribe's culture in the future. Center on Hundoke. So once you have a flexible kind of you know, gathering for the Hundoke, and then, so now, everyone together, you start the, uh, uh, start the Hundoke, and then, Parents 
give interpretation after reading. So you don't have to read 20 minutes, 30 minutes. For example, if you design whole family hundoke once a week at the, uh, on, the, on the reunion time, Friday evening, you cannot just kneel down and then have a kind of traditional uh, style of hundoke. You may have a barbecue gathering, right? With all members Friday evening. You, you, you can go to the under the tent or you go to the garden. So that's why everybody is very freely have you know barbecue, food, and whatever. But you need to call everybody for a while. But in that that place, you cannot keep the reading God's word 10 minutes or 20 minutes. In that case, you need to choose certain passage of words, and then you read shortly, and then it's much better for you to give interpretations. So parents give interpretation. And then, once you interpret God's word, and then you give a chance for the other participant to respond with their own feedbacks. Right? So, I give interpretation, and then I ask to some summons or everybody to uh, ask what is their understanding, or what they can learn, or what they can get. This kind of feedbacks going, and then based after finish that one, we uh, one side we are reading, we are eating, but we are talking God's word and the implementation of God's word. Discuss freely with uh, this related, uh, you know, subject by eating, uh, by enjoying. We, 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 we cannot think, you know, hundoke is a holy thing and just it uh, must be separate from secular situation and then, you know, it should be kept in a certain a uh, 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 holy kind of formula. Well, it may work, but it may not work all the time. So that's why we need to have a flexible kind of uh, understanding and then creative ideas to reach out. Point is, that how can I bring the word to the uh, my people and then infiltrate word to their heart and their daily life. This is key point in order to create ideal method. And then, and then after eating and then discussing, and finally, the parents, parents put the, at least the one practical assignment for the next hundokke. Right? If we, if we uh, have a you know, weekly meeting, okay, let's, uh, let, uh, let's just meet, uh, you know, come to the next week, same time. Let's uh, have a uh, next time, you know, this kind of meeting, that kind of meeting, whatever. But before we go to that point, parents create one, at least one practical assignment. Okay, we had a we had, uh, lead uh, read your father's word like this, and then with the discussion, wow, this point is very important to implement our daily life. And then, okay, now I want to put the, this uh, practical point in your weekly life as an assignment. And then when you come to the next week, so please bring the, your answer, your answer, your experiences, or your thought, whatever. And, and then uh, I'll discuss with uh, this uh, former weeks, you know, former assignment from all participants. One side, we give assignment, and then the other side, first we have a discussion with last week, former assignment 
what, what had happened by implementing so-called, for example, gods, how can we experience and how can we learn God's heart in our daily life? In order to do that, let's have a service, service activity, right? And then parents give, okay, for this week, let's have a service uh, uh, project, whatever, no matter what kind of, you practice, implement, and then next week, you can share the result and then your experience. And then next uh, meeting, we during the discussion session, parents ask everybody to make uh, this kind of uh, 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 share, right? Uh, testimonies. So this is uh, really uh, make a uh, uh, participant to uh, attract. In other words, this is the really guideline for the uh, participant, especially children, to be the owners of words. So that's why we, we as a, uh, as a uh, hundokke holder or beginners, we have to really focusing on how to change the participant position in front of words, not as object, but we have to make them as a subject partner for the God's words. This is, a, this is a kind of a tip to be able to be building, build a, 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 a successful hundokke. Uh, but finally, we have the family tradition, right? Not just one way, but the other way. So you, you, we, was you, we are trying to do this one, and then finally, each family may create a little bit different style of the running hundokke and the hundokke culture, or a certain culture to digest and to implement God's word in daily life or weekly life or whatever. And then this kind of uh, creative tradition must be bequeathed to the next generation. If we are able to create this kind of uh, uh, method and then make a, uh, uh, the result in our family, this is going to be the real, our family tradition in the era of Chan Wilco. So, uh, I believe so our members in South America really uh, try to uh, expand and then create Hundoke tradition in our family. So we have talked about uh, uh, Hundoke, but uh, actually the main point and the key of Hundoke is God's word. So uh, we need, uh, on the other side, we need to really uh, understand and then also pay attention to certain mechanism to make words to be completed. In other words, mechanism for the substantiation of words. In other words, how can we implement uh, and then finally we can be can become a perfect being. This is a uh, number one uh, kind of concern that we have to fulfill. So that's why, uh, according to the our experience and our the, our life of faith, I would like to introduce these three steps of a way to be perfect to complete. Words to substantiate inside me. So let's back to our uh, life in the church. First time, how did you decide to go to the uh, uh, this way? It comes from the uh, divine principle, right? Everybody 
participate in the divine principle workshop, and you changed your way of your life. You decided to you go to the ded dedicated way to God and to parents. So that's why God's word consists of divine principle as bone and true parents' words as flesh. So God's word has uh, uh, exist, exist with bone and flesh. So bone is a divine principle, right? Divine principle is same because uh, even, you know, uh, all humanity has the same number and the structure of bones. No different. If, if someone has a different bone, number of bone and the structure of bone, this, this person is not a human being. Maybe an alien. So, every human being has the same number of bone and the same structure. Like that. The divine principle is like a bone of truth, right? Bone of, bone of uh, words. And then, true parents' words is like a flesh. So, according to the uh, flesh, so we can become the beautiful person or ugly person, right? So that's why how this uh, uh, divine principle and the true parents' uh, words uh, react uh, inside me is the, uh, actually what happened, centering, centering on God's words. Yeah. So in that sense, first, when we listen to divine principle, we had changed our life. Why? Because we were able to have a clear perception toward the truth and what is the life of goodness and what is a righteous situation. So, in other words, first time, divine principle came to me and it became knowledge. And this knowledge with the divine principle created a perception. And this perception guided me to have conviction, confidence to go this way. So-called, this person, so-called brainwashed person. Well, of course, Satan is uh, saying like that. But Satan is also saying the principle situation. Divine principle, wash it. Truth, wash it, my knowledge, my perception, and I create a new conviction. That's a brain washy level. In other words, a knowledge level. For a long time, all, most of all our members still, when we think divine principle, what is divine principle? Oh. Divine principle is the tool to really change the person. Wash their thinking and their knowledge and their perception, their ideology. That's it. But then I have already changed. So that's why divine principle is no more working to me. That's why many members just thinking, what is the divine principle? Divine principle is the only the tool to witness people like me. Decade ago. No, no, that's just the first level. Formation stage. This truth, words, must transcend from the, my mind, my knowledge to the spirit. Because truth goes to the whole world in cosmos, not only physical world. But also truth is truth in the spiritual world. So that's why after we change our perception, this truth needs to guide for me to become spiritual being. Think about that. When we listen to divine principle and then decide to follow this way, we had a conviction with the truth. And then before us, we always had, had the 
choice whether do or do not. Why we have to work the do or do not? Because there exists a Satan. So that's why in order to separate Satan, always we have to choose do or do not. If we didn't follow, Satan came to me back. So that was the, our level. But next step, we have to develop the to really go to the uh, uh, way of words, which is the spiritualization. This word should should reach it in my spirit, and then this word should be able to make my spirit as spiritual self esteem, self esteem being. How we can make it? How can I make my spirit to be self-esteem the spirit? That's enlightenment. So how can we enlighten myself, my spirit, with God's words? That, that will happen through the rumination. What is a rumination? You know, look at the cows on the field. In the daytime, they eating grass. Just eat, 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 eat. And then once they go back to their home, what they, what they have done? They just sit down, and then they just still chewing, chewing. What happened? They have a diff- different number of, you know, stomach. And then on the field, they just give, give, put it back, put, put in the, um, the, the stomach. And then when they come back, and then they just pull out grass again and the chewing to make a better digest and then finally swallow. This is a rumination. We need to have a rumination with God's words. And how? We need to have a meditation. Christianity has been developed this kind of spiritualization of God's words. And they had built up a certain mechanism which is called quiet time. Many of you have already uh, heard this quiet time in the Christianity, right? Quiet time means separate the, separate the space, separate time, only myself, like a Jain in the Buddhism. Right? So kneel down and have a meditation. Meditation. During the meditation, I'm thinking, thinking the words, words, digest, right? Chewing again, chewing again. Finally, aha! Wow, now I can understand. This part of the divine principle is really this kind of meaning. That's like an aha experience, like an enlightenment, right? This enlightenment experience really goes from my thinking. Enlightenment experience become what? Sorry, vitality element. So once, do, once I have an enlightenment, aha experience, this from my brain to go to the, my spirit as vitality element. And then my spirit grows. So that's why this kind of rumination Right? Aha through the meditation, aha in the quiet time go happen over and over and over again. And my spirit gonna grow. And finally I will be able to keep my spiritual self-esteem. This is called spirit washing. Words should be able to wash my spirit. So we need to build up this kind of level of education to be able to reach it, spiritualization with God's word. And this is a, just a gross stage. What is a complete completion stage? The last one is to reach it heart, to make artistic fruits in order, in order for us to Contact and reach God's heart. Even though we have strong 
strong self-esteem spirit, still we cannot freely contact with uh, God. How can we contact and go, come, go with God through the only God's heart? So that's why we remain the last steps to grow our heart. How can we do that? That's the, through the only substantial life, practical life, implementing word in our life. So it starts from the hundok. So that's why the purpose of hundok in the family is how to create substantial life, which can build up the bridge, artistic bridge, to go to the So that's why in this, uh, this uh, uh, mechanism, I will explain later more detail uh, for one hour during, uh, to the uh, uh, first uh, school, first school of uh, Heavenly Tribal Messiah uh, this coming Friday. I will explain detail. But anyway, through these three steps, words, Exist as a word separately. First time come to my mind and then goes to my spirit and then make a fruit and then substantiate myself in my heart by implementing. So that's why if I am successfully implement what I have realized or enlightened to my daily life, and then what will come back. That's artistic gaining. These kind of gaining just come to me and hit my heart. And my heart got to be open. And my heart got to be originally open, and God's heart come to me. And finally, ah, oh, this is Heavenly Father's this is a heavenly parent's heart. I can catch and I can become one heart with God. And then, under that situation, and then I have to return my heart toward God. This is Hyojung, which true mother have explained. So, if we are not completed ourselves, if we are not become perfected being, we cannot give our heart, shimjang, back to God. Still, under that situation, God's shimjang is only coming down. Once, but once we perfected with this heart, shimjang, and then I have to return my completed, my perfected shimjang to God. This is that your mother explained. So that's why, so what is the final course and the final goal that we have to reach and then take through the hundoke life and the implementing daily life? That's the what? To gain artistic, substantial life so that we can freely contact and communicate with God's heart and finally, we are able to return our heart as a shojong to God. So this is the, just the, the final goal. But this final goal will be started from hundoke. That's why hundoke is everything our, in our life of chenilgo to be able to become one with God and then no more. Satan. So that's why uh, all members in South America let us really try to create an ideal hundoke in our family from now on. And then we can communicate, and then we can help each other, and then we can guide each other, and then finally we will be able to open the I o offer the ideal hundoke in each family. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow.
So, hi, everybody. Uh, how was today's uh, uh, lecture? Did you get the uh, clear understanding for hundokke and uh, ready to build up the, your own family style of hundokke? Okay, now uh, I got uh, five questions. So let me uh, try to give an answer for those five uh, questions. Uh, number one is when only one person does hundoke, the resultant blessings are given to all family members. <laughs> what do you think? Well, actually, the hundoke itself is not the way to get the blessing. As I already explained, the um, important point is, is to practice of words in our daily life. So once we gain the understanding of oneness with uh, God's word in hundoke, then immediately we need to practice and build up the, our lives. So that's why the goal of Hundoke is to create myself as a perfect little one, or com completion of my uh, growing period. So in that sense, uh, basically, uh, the way to be completed is the individual course, which means that uh, each members in the family need to uh, go the way of practice of God's word in daily life. That's the idea. But on the other side, Father explained one time that in, in front of God, there is a subject partner and object partner. They are still on the way of uh, uh, growing to be perfect. And then uh, between these two, either subject partner or object partner can reach the point of completion, which means one of uh, subject partner or object partner become one with a God in heart, Shinjong, and the absolute become one and they become perfect before God, and the God can come to work and then dwell down the other, dwell in the others. So that means maybe it may work after just one person become perfection, perfected being in the family, and then maybe God's heart will go down to the rest of family members, and then the members may get the God's grace and the blessing, I believe. Okay. Uh, second, will Hundoke be needed in the kingdom of heaven or just during the course of restoration? Oh, so what do you think? Father clearly mentioned and then ident identified uh, Hundoke that Hundoke is the eternal channel tradition in the family. And also, Hundoke is the uh, completely new education in the era of Chan Il Kuo. So that's why, of course, we may need to practice and try to build up the Hundoke, even though we are in the, in, in the course of restoration. But originally, this Hundoke has been designed for the human being who live in the kingdom of heaven. So uh, uh, actually, 
Huntoke is going to be worked out in, the, in two uh, worlds, actually. But uh, it has been uh, more e effectively worked in the uh, kingdom of heaven as the uh, lifestyle in the uh, kingdom of heaven. Okay, third question. If Hundoke is a practice both on earth and in the spiritual world, our ancestors come to study with us every day? Yeah, of course, sure. To, 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 the father is mentioned that this point clearly. Well, uh, actually, first time, we may not build up this kind of Hundoke situation together with the spiritual world. Only uh, on the physical world and family, we may run and uh, start Hundoke. But uh, the more we're building up the uh, Hundoke by, by following daily life, the more chance for the spiritual world, uh, uh, ancestors to get involved in the uh, Hundoke. So, uh, we we really need to uh, work to make it happen. Even spiritual world can come and then have a hundoke together. That's the, the ideal point. So even though we are not uh, make things happen like this at this moment, but I'm sure I don't know, sooner or later, I don't know, some families will really find find out that wow. In the Hundoke, I was absolute, absolute, uh, uh, the uh, uh, good spirit as our ancestors uh, with a blessing come to us and we are doing it. So that's why True Mother asking uh, blessed family to really take uh, uh, Hyo Jung One. I think that everybody has seen. The Hyojong one, white uh, marble kind of house, and the hold in the family. Each family need to hold Hyojong one, and the Hyojong one is a kind of house for our ancestors, as ancestors as um, absolute good spirit can live together with us. So Hundoke need to be developed with this. Uh, way in the future. Uh, fourth, uh, uh, next uh, uh, question, how to develop Hyojung in the family so that Undoke may be successful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, during the time of restoration, God's number one desire for humanity to get to know is God's heart, Shinjong, God's Shinjong. Those, those who completed their life of faith and become perfectly child before God, who hold God's Shinjong, and then they will offer their own Shinjong as a complete human being. This is Hyojang that your mother has been explaining. So that's why perfected individuals, Shinjang for the God, is a Hyojang. So throughout Hundoke, every day, if we are able to build up this is Hyojang based on God's Shinjang, and then I'm sure Hundoke is going to be changed everything and while this family or this person are in the in the hundoke time god's and and numbers of the heart shimjong and the love will come and then will be you know flourishing that hundoke times i believe so we have to aim to do that Okay, next uh, question is uh, in doing the hundoke in the mentioned style, hundoke wouldn't become a kind of home group. Yeah, yeah. Before we uh, 
make the uh, uh, the perfect kind of family undoke through the uh, our home group activities we can implement in the uh, home group gathering. That's why tomorrow, uh, 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 maybe two days later, I will mention and I will focusing on the heavenly tribal messiah. How we can develop the you know this uh, accomplishment of uh, heavenly tribal messiah. I will mention then you know this home group uh, supposed to go to the way of a Hun Do home church. You know, home church. So why we are developing a home church if we implemented this kind of ideal of Hundoke in the uh, Hundok home church. And this is gonna be the really impact and really powerful to change the people who are participating in the Hundok home church, you know, home group gathering, I'm sure. Yeah, this, is, this is a really good point, I think. Okay, today's the last question. Oh, this, this is really wrong. The divine principle teaches that if Adam and Eve have been perfectly without falling, they would have become the incarnation of the world. And based on this, the kingdom of heaven on earth and in the spiritual world would have been formed and expanded through the generations starting from Adam and Eve. In this case, the hundokke would have been necessary and would be practiced eternally. Yes, Shu Father mentioned, if Adam and Eve didn't fail, and then if they became the perfected man and woman, and they got the God's blessing, and then formed the family, and then they would produce the children, and then in the idea of Garden of Eden. What was their mission and what they supposed to do in the world of the completion of God's idea? That's education. Father emphasized education, only education. So that's why in that sense, even though we, we create the Garden of Eden, kingdom of heaven on this earth, what's supposed to be most important point as a father said, the education. So this is why number one education in the kingdom of heaven on earth and in the spirit world is a hundoke. Why? Hundoke is the only the tool for human being to practice God's word in our daily life and then guide our daily life to align and follow and become one with God's word. That's why the perfect oneness with God's word throughout our daily life implementation is gonna guide us to, full, to become one with God's heart. So we will be able to connect with God's heart and we will be able to possess God's heart, Shimjong. And then we will be the perfect man and woman. So that's why, uh, even though uh, Adam and Eve didn't fall, still, Hundoke is the most, I mean, the strongest educational tool and the component in that world, I believe. I know you have more questions, but uh, let's have a, a chance to next time. Uh, uh, so uh, if you have a question uh, more about today's uh, lecture or even former lectures, so please uh, put the, your question uh, tomorrow when, uh, while I give the next uh, lecture. Thank you very much. Your brothers and sisters. Got, uh, yeah, I hope uh, you will uh, gain uh, God's heart and the true parents of love through my lecture. And then you find out where I am saying and the where do I need to go. This is actually the purpose of my uh, series of lectures.
Thank you very much, brothers and sisters. See you tomorrow. Uh, muito obrigado. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.